Okay, and welcome back. So I'm going to explain how to find the equation of the tangent line. So here are basically the steps you would use. You would calculate the y value, if not given, by plugging x into the original function, and this will give you a point as an ordered pair. So if they gave you a function, basically, like f of x is equal to how about 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. So let's say they told you to find the equation of the tangent line of this parabola at 0. So in that case, you'd have a graph that looks something like this. Okay, so they want you to find the tangent line to this equation at this point right here. All right, so here what we did is, well, we calculated the uh, y value by plugging in 0 into here. So that's what I just did right here. So that gave me this point. And now what we want to do is differentiate. Um, to differentiate basically means to, in words, find the derivative. So what we're going to do is, and if you're not familiar with the power rule, let me explain what that is. That for any function of x, where c is the coefficient of x and n is the power to which x is raised to, that the derivative, f prime of x, is equal to the power multiplied times the coefficient and the degree to which x is raised to is lowered by 1. So this is the power rule. So what you do is you do this to every single term. So we would use the power rule here, here, and here. And right here we could just pretend there's an x to the 0. So let's go ahead and apply the power rule to this function. So we're going to do step number 2. Okay, so f prime of x is equal to take the degree and multiply it times the coefficient, you get 4. Lower the degree by 1 and you get x to the 1, so we're just going to write this as x. So now we're going to apply the power rule to this term here. So the power to which x is raised to is 1, and 1 times 3 is just 3 so plus 3 and x to the 1 minus 1 is going to be x to the 0 and x to the 0 is just 1 and 1 times 3 is just 3 so we're just going to leave this as 3 here and this last term for the most part all constants can be dropped so this is a constant we could just drop it because x to the 0 power if you take the 0 multiply it times the coefficient of x you get a 0 and 0 times anything is just 0 so this is the derivative right here so now what we want to do is step number three, which is calculate the slope of the x value by plugging it into the derivative. So in this case, zero is the x value that we're evaluating here. So if we plug in a zero into f prime of x, so you'd get f prime of zero is equal to four times zero plus three. So our f prime of 0 is equal to 3. So that makes a slope equal to 3. So what we want to do now is step number 4 which is use the point slope equation. And the point slope equation you should know is y minus y1 equal to m which is the slope times x minus x1. Okay so we need a point which we got and we need the slope which we got so let's go ahead and put our arrows to signify what variables we're going to replace with numbers. And we'll go ahead and bring down our y minus y1 here. We can label these x1, y1 if you want. So y1 here is negative 2 equal to m, the slope, is 3 times x minus x1 is 0. And we go ahead and cancel these out, make this plus and you get y plus 2 is equal to distribute the 3 3 times x is 3x, 3 times 0 is just 0 then subtract 2 from both sides and you get y is equal to 3x minus 2 so this would be the tangent line to the parabola at the point 0, negative 2 okay so what that looks like would be something like this tangent to this parabola at this point would look something like that. And that's basically it. And you can see the slope here is about 3 because 1 would probably be something like that. So this slope here is m equals 3. 
and that's basically it. Now some books ask for the normal line. What they're talking about is this. They want the line that's perpendicular to this line. Well, that's simple. All you got to do is just take the negative reciprocal of this. So I'll just go ahead and write that in here. So this here is the tangent line. And the normal line is y equals negative one-third x minus two. All I did was take the negative reciprocal of the slope, and that gives me a perfectly perpendicular line. Okay? So that's basically it, and let me put the steps back up here again so you can see them. So step one, calculate the y value if you haven't been given that already, and differentiate calculate the slope and use the point slope equation. So this is these are the main things you need here. Differentiate, calculate the slope, and use the point slope equation. That's pretty much it. Everything else here is just more details. So sometimes they may not give you the point, instead they'll just tell you to find you know the equation at at x at a certain number in this case here we weren't given the point zero negative two so I had kinda had to just you know evaluate by inspection what zero plugging into this equation would would yield me and it would yield me a negative two so that's how I came up with this then to differentiate basically means just find the derivative and we use the power rule for that and we calculate the slope of x value by plugging it into the derivative so we plugged in the zero into the derivative right here and it gave us a value of 3 and that's a slope so anytime you plug in any x value into the derivative you'll get the slope for it and to construct the line just use the point slope equation and that's it and if they ask for a normal line just go ahead and take the negative reciprocal of the slope and that's it so good luck with your homework and tests in the future and thank you for watching